Hi, welcome to part two, okay, of the cube um, introduction. So um, you've saved the file already um, to your folder as cube with your first name, last initial, and the part name. And then we're going to start by um, clicking uh, 2D sketch. Now you'll notice anytime I put my mouse on any of the tools up at the top, if I just leave it there for a moment, you'll see this expansion. There's a there's a summary expansion where it's a small description, and then if you leave it there, it'll actually show you and describe what um, exactly happened. So it says this is a sketch icon in the browser. I will mention the browser in a moment, but what we're going to do is we're going to click on Start 3D Sketch, and it's going to give you um, all the planes that are available to you to draw. And so it says select a plane to create a sketch or an existing sketch to edit. We don't have an existing sketch here, so we're just going to select one of these drawing planes. And you'll notice if you hover over them, um, they tell you which plane that they are. These are for two-dimensional drawings, so they have to have two uh, axes on them. So there's X, Y, Y, Z, and X, Z here. So X, Z would be like almost like the floor of the classroom. So we're going to build the cube up from this X, Z plane. You're going to click on that plane, and it rotates you around, so you're looking directly at the origin of the X and the Z axis. Um, you can see on the lower left, just as a reminder, that you're drawing on the X and the Z, not the Y. See this little Y is right there. Okay. Um, on the left hand side, this is your browser. A lot of you guys like to X out of this so you have more room to draw. Please don't do that. The browser is the only way you're going to be able to edit anything. So um, there's th much more editing capability on the left hand side if you want to change part of your sketch or uh, adjust it. So leave this browser open. If you accidentally um, X out of it and close it. I can show you how to get it back. Um, so why don't we actually do that right now? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to accidentally, on purpose, close out of the browser. Why don't you try that? Okay, close out of your browser. And then the way to get it back, because you really can't get it back any other way, you're going to go up into the ribbon tab that says View. And you're going to click on View. And then you're going to scroll over and select User Interface. So these are your user interface options. And you'll see if you there's a view cube. We want to keep that, but if you click it and select it, that view cube on the right will disappear. The navigation bar will disappear and come back if you have it. And you notice the browser is unselected, so um, you can click on that, and your browser will come back. So that's good. And then up at the top, you're going to go back to the sketch menu or the sketch tab on the ribbon, and we're going to start by drawing a rectangle. Okay. Notice we don't want, it to, there's no tool for cube. A cube is, uh, or a square, there's, a square is a rectangle. So we're going to click and draw it out. Okay. Notice these dimensions here in the, um, along each side of the uh, square are written, but they're not the same. So clearly that's not going to be a square. So we, there's things that we can do before, um, after we draw and before we extrude. So shape before size. We're going to draw the shape first and then we'll dimension it, okay? You'll also notice these, all these um, lines right here, these little white marks are constraints. So this means that these two lines are perpendicular. This means this is um, a parallel to this one. This means this is vertical line, um, all sorts of things. Okay, so the, we're going to click on dimension and we're going to make this cube uh, two inches tall. So you just type two, okay, and enter. And notice it kind of uh, disappeared from view. So you're going to have to use your scroll wheel and your mouse, push the scroll wheel forward. Okay. And um, what you'll notice is wherever you have your mouse is where it'll zoom into. Okay. So if you've zoomed in um, over somewhere else, um, that's where it's going to zoom into. So you can get a little bit lost. If you get a little bit lost, just pause the video here and you can't see your drawing, just pause the video here and uh, I'll come over and help you. Okay, so we've got two inches here. If we want this to be a cube, though, we need all the dimensions to be the same. So we're going to click on dimension again and click here, and then type in two, enter, and then we're done. Okay, with that. So we're going to finish sketch. Okay, and we can zoom out a little bit. We can use our scroll wheel by pushing the wheel forward away from us, making sure that your mouse is uh, directly centered on your drawing when you zoom, okay? Because otherwise, if you if you put your mouse over here and you zoom, it's gonna, right, you're gonna say like, where did it go? 
Okay, so we're ready to extrude. If you don't want to do it that way, you can hover over the view cube and click home. So I encourage you, every time I try to show you a different tool, I encourage you to try it out. I click on the home button right above the view cube. The home button disappears when you're not hovering. And then you're going to click extrude. Okay. Um, so if this is if the extrusion menu is getting in your way, just zoom out a little bit. Make sure you keep your uh, mouse over that. And you're going to type in two inches here, or you can type in two inches over here. See what happens if you go, if you click on these buttons, right? Okay, and we can click OK. There you go. There's your cue.